Hello guys, welcome to a brand new scratch tutorial and this is a brand new series we will be making a flood escape game based on that Roblox flood escape game it's a very cool game though so it's basically like from the player here he will have to go here for the fastest time and yeah and then the flood will be rising rising and let's go let's stop this okay so in here we have two sprites player and platforms i'll try to make the player a little smaller 28 there yeah. okay and player is just player okay and we have also platforms we'll name it level one because going to make that one it's up to you to make how you want it but make sure there's space here or something okay so and there's a background too for gray background okay so in this part we will just be making the platforming system i guess so let's start off one green flag clicked we will go to our destined position. We might go to negative 200. Y negative 110. See where that goes. Yeah, that's perfect. And then uh, we get a little down. Okay. So now we'll put in a forever loop. Make a block naming it movement run without screen refresh. Don't forget that forever movement define movement. We will make some variables. We'll make one that is x velocity for the sprite only and y velocity also for this sprite only we'll set both of them to zero at the very beginning in the define movement script we will make some basic movement so to make the x velocity to move we will make it in one simple block so I'll put in x velocity plus um, what is it minus or right arrow key is pressed or the D key is pressed minus the left arrow or A key pressed and then we'll times all of that by our friction we'll set it to 0 0.2 okay there and here. we'll change x by x velocity so now we move right and left it's going pretty good but I want to change it a little slower. Make it a little slower. Okay, so we'll just times like 0 0.9. Also here, 0 0.9. Put it here. Okay, so now it will move a little slower. We like that speed. Okay. So now we will make the X collisions working. If we are touching platforms, then we will put in a repeat until not touching platforms. We will in an if else 
the x velocity is more than zero, zero, we will change x by negative one. Oh, sorry, issue. Change x by negative one. Else we'll change x by one. And then we will set our x velocity to zero right here. And I have to mention that this platform script is inspired by GriffBat, that scrolling platform my game. So let's test it and yeah, it works. Okay. So now let's make gravity and we'll make a jump variable for this right this will detect whether if we can jump or not so we'll change y velocity by negative one nice that's a negative one so two that's better we'll change y by equals to y velocity set jump to zero Okay, it's when we are not touching the ground. Okay, so we'll duplicate this. If touching platforms, changes to y velocity. Both of this change by y. And we'll set y velocity to zero. And in here, we will set the jump to one. Okay, so now if and here, or the key up arrow pressed, or W is pressed, and the jump is one, so we can't jump. We will set our Y velocity to, let's say, 40. Okay. Now let's test that. Okay, we have a working jumping player in our arena. Okay, works like a charm. Maybe I'll adjust the player to make it a little smaller because it's too big now. It's 24. Yeah, got 24 player. So now we have a smaller player and we have it jumping around the arena. Okay, so I think it's pretty much for this part. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next part. Peace.